This morning, we're learning that more than one billion brand spanking new $100 bills may never see the light of day. So what's the problem? Christine Romans is minding your business this morning. In, in a town of expensive mistakes, this really one takes the cake. Uh, this is $100 bills, a whole brand new batch, supposed to be released in February, that have some kind of a mistake, a crease on them. They're very high tech. They're meant to foil counterfeiters, multi-layers of security efforts. And during a routine uh, perusal of these bills, after they were manufactured, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing found a problem. A problem that means they have to stay in, under lock and key in Fort Worth and Washington, D.C., while the Treasury decides what to do. Um, here's what it looks like. $1.1 billion bills now in storage. This creasing problem in the paper. It's unclear if this is a paper problem or a printing problem. Do you know the Crane Company has produced all the paper for U.S. bills since, uh, since for more than 100 years? Crane Interesting. the stationary company? Yeah, the stationary sure. company. Interesting. February 2011, uh, release date now in jeopardy. The Fed has ordered print to make more of the old bills so that you can have as many Benjamins as you want in your pocket. There and will I not know be a I shortage have a lot of in my pocket. <laughs> I don't carry a lot of $100 bills around with me, but this is the most circulated U.S. bill in the world. This is the one the counterfeiters love to try to, to, try to tackle. What's the creasing problem that they talk about? Some kind about? of a creasing problem where you can see that the paper creased and one of the security ribbons is, is, uh, is not intact properly. Mm -hmm. and, and now, so look, there are so many of these bills in storage. Um, now they have to go through and manage Manually try to figure out how to sort all of these bills to figure out which ones are good and which ones are bad because some of them are okay. Uh, in the meantime, we'll just have to use our old $100 bills. Perhaps you could offer your services for the sorting. At least then you get a chance to see what it was like to have that. I know a lot of people who could use a job, but uh, I think they're probably going to figure out a computer. That's an awful lot of bills to try to be uh, going through. So this is $110 billion in U.S. currency. This will cost taxpayers maybe in the end. 100 million, 120 million dollars. Every single one of these costs 11.8 cents, oh and uh, we don't know how many of them are <laughs> how many of them are bad. That is Timothy Geithner's signature is right on there. I'm sure that he would like to get one of those uh, messed up ones for his for his wall. Oh, they'll I'm be worth, sure they'll be worth something someday. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Christine, thanks.